Hello everyone, Duke here with part one of, a, of another new series uh, for this channel. We are starting... Um, I've got uh, the Empire bug. I really enjoyed my first Darth Mod campaign when I played the Ottomans uh, in this mod. And I've got the itch to do another campaign, but what I'd quite like to do this time is be able to play a slightly less Eurocentric game and kind of focus overseas. And a great, great candidates for that, obviously Britain, France, or, or Spain, or the United Provinces. Uh, they're all good, actually. Uh, in this case, I'm starting this time with France. I thought about Britain, but I did them an awful lot as a kid, and I think it's time I did something a bit different. So I'm going with uh, France. I think France will be a fun one to do. Starting in eight regions, so we should be quite wealthy, and overseas territories in all theatres like the British, so that's quite a fun start. Uh, hard and hard, because I believe that's what Darth Mod is balanced on, uh, so I don't want to mess up anything. Uh, I don't. I have CPU moves, but I don't have time limits or anything on battles. And yeah, I think as far as our strategy, say in Europe, go, I won't mind medium term, perhaps knocking out Spain and the Low Countries, and maybe Italy, and sort of take out, you know, take a real stranglehold on Western Europe and poss possibly Britain. But if we do that, that would really, and it, you know, it would do, if we did that, if we knocked out Britain and Spain, more or less, we would have pretty much free reign to do what we wanted overseas, uh, as far as Europe goes. So, you know, there's, that could be quite fun, but I might keep Britain alive. One, because it keeps a element of um, excitement on the board to have some major nation still about. And two, uh, play, letting the French invade Britain just feels wrong as a Brit. So, so we'll see. We'll see. We will see. I might well do it if um, Perfidious Albion be my knight. In. So, anyway, uh, Darth Mond, uh, France, hard, hard. Let's see how we get on. And I'm putting on world domination because uh, it's 50 regions, which is a lot, but it, it means that I can expand in any way I want. So we're not limited to certain victory conditions to win. We can expand however we want, take as many regions, as long as we've got 50 and we keep our capital, we've won. So, same as I did with the Ottomans. And we get a historical portrait this time. I think that's the Sun King there, Louis the 14th? Can't remember, I'll check. And so, yeah, let's get going. Let's start. Oh, by the way, um, I'm going to have to turn the music back on. I've had to turn it off on the main menu, and I'm probably going to put the main classic theme over it because I got a copyright last time. So, uh, anyway. Your first priority should be to bolster your armies through recruitment in order to adequately patrol France's extensive borders. The Alsace region to the east could be under threat. The inhabitants are largely German speakers, so Prussia or Austria may try to take it back in an attempt to forge a single German empire. However, a protracted land war with either of these nations may prove unwise, despite the strength and reputation of the French army. The territories of the Holy Roman Empire to the east are good Catholic populations under the corrupt yoke of heretic Lutheran masters. As such, the territories of Rhineland and Württemberg are potential targets for a Catholic French army wishing to bring the true religion back to the faithful. Also, look to expand your foothold in the new worlds of America and India before the British colonize both continents, therefore becoming too powerful to keep in check. There are still unexplored native territories on the American continent, although the Spanish have begun expansion in that direction. So time is of the essence. In India, the landscape is changing. The old Mughal Empire is starting to collapse and lose territory to their Maratha rivals. The British, Dutch and Portuguese are all active in this theater, so you should make alliances and secure territory before they do. Make trade agreements in order to sell your colonial resources. Open as many trade routes as possible between France and her colonies. And patrol routes against attack as much as possible. An alliance with Spain may also be fruitful, acting as a counterbalance to the current British monopoly in America. Cool, there you have it. That is quite the introduction. I think that was quite a lot. I think we literally ran out of um, animation <laughs> um, before um, the woman started stopped uh, talking. So how much of that I'm actually going to pay heed to, I don't know. So they're saying Alsace-Lorraine could become under threat from 
Germanic expansion, fine. Uh, we'll see. But you can see already, look, look how much fun we're going to have. We've got a territory here in India. We've got ter territories over here in the New World, in America. And we've got, um, obviously, a European presence. Only two regions. Uh, you, you won't find much discussion in this game that doesn't involve how Paris is quite badly divvied up. So, for example, Britain has three regions. Should have four. I think Wales should be one too, like it is in Napoleon. But I digress. Spain is also one as well, but there's also got Gibraltar at the bottom. France is just France. You have Strasbourg over here, Alsace, but there's not many more regions. So France, if you're playing against them, are quite easy to knock out. If you are if you go kind of aggressive against them from the outside. If you're playing Spurton, for example, you just bosh, bosh, go all hell for leather. You go smash to Paris and then smash to Alsace. And you can knock out, you know, for example, their Indian presence here and their uh, American presence here. And then just mop up. But they'd become independent. I think these guys, for example, would become Canada or like Quebec or something. Um, talking of these overseas provinces, we've got a really, really nice start here. Fair enough, it's not built up at all, but that is jammy. We've got a nice city and a town here. All the British have as a presence uh, is Moose Factory uh, on the mainland. But they have, I believe, more presence at sea. We, we have Martinique. It's quite nice. Um, but this is going to be uh, the land of pirates for quite a while. Uh, we've got the pirates at sea here, and we've got San Jose de Uruna and Antigua uh, currently under the pirate rule. And I think if one, again, if of these sorts of island nations, I think they turn pirate if their father or mother nation uh, dies. And we've got native Indians. We've got, now what's quite good about playing as one of the big three in this game, and by big three, I'm referring to Britain, France, or Spain, is these sort of overseas colonies, New Spain, uh, for us, we don't get much, but Louisiana and Britain, 13 colonies, which is just amazing. It's all this. Um, they get them when we get them. So I don't know if we've gotten the objective yet. Or if Darth Ward changes it, I truly, truly don't know. I might be completely wrong and Darth Ward might completely change how this works. But how it remembers in the Vanilla game is you get a mission to conquer a bunch of regions. I think you have to take some native land to keep these guys safe and then they join you. And when yours join, theirs join. So if you're playing against them, when I played with the Ottomans, for example, it's just a timed moment quite early on that all these nations join uh, their European counterpart and they become very rich and powerful indeed. But that's not going to happen until we... So we kind of control that timeline a little bit, which is going to be really good. Um, so, where do we start? We've got, oh my days, 50,000. Darth Mod is very generous indeed, giving us 50,000 to play with at the beginning. And... Unlike the Ottomans, remember when I started as the Ottomans, I had to spend 50,000... I forgot that you get this much money, but it's coming back to me now. You spend, I had 50,000 to spend all over, you know, the empire, all across here, and that, that went quite thin. In France, it's quite easy. I know exactly where I want to spend it. France. <laughs> so that's not going to be easy. Uh, oh, we're going to have naval... We're going to have actual naval um, strategy involved in this. So as the Turks, you know, for the longest time, I didn't bother because there's no point. But as France, if you play as any of these Western nations, the navies play a huge role. Um, right, let's assess. I think, just like most people, except perhaps France, uh, Britons, we're an absolute monarchy. Uh, only Poland and Lithuania is a constitutional monarchy. What's um, United Provinces? Oh, they're a republic. Yeah. That's really good to start off as a republic, actually. That is really good. We're a... Uh, Autonomous nation. I'm not going to rebel this time. I think when I played as the Ottomans, I did a revolution nice and early. Partly because, you know, the monarch was rubbish and we were so ailing and backward, we, I, I took the drastic decision to do that. This time we've got a decent monarch in charge. Plus eight to diplomatic relations and plus one prestige per turn. A uh, 62. Bless him. 14th. Yes, guess right. Bang on. Look at that. Louis the 14th. Uh, I'm going to keep it this time. It has its merits being an autocrat. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, state, religion, capital, government. Um, let's see what this says. Yes, 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 yes. Get to the good stuff. <laughs> um, government. See the ministers tab. Most. Oh, okay. I've got to go to my government tab, which is ministers here. There we go. The higher classes thrive in this type of government. They will be happier and they're public. Yep. Okay. So the higher classes like us. Uh, and repression is high. But I think 
this will be helpful for you to control the lower classes who are unhappier. Yeah, I think that's the gist of it. Because these actually one of the traits will have double the effect in this government. Ah, that's something I kind of always forget. Down wealth will grow slower, and technology will be more expensive, but early buildings will be cheaper. Okay, that's interesting. So that means plus two to management and minus one happiness and ability. Ooh, that's not good. Plus one prestige. Plus five. That might be ten percent glamour, and minus ten percent recruitment cost. Minus one management justice. Plus two to treasury. I'm not seeing the effect here at the moment, I must say. We've got nice historical portraits because we're playing as a European nation this time. The Ottomans didn't have that. But we have that, baby. And the good thing about the monarch is that we can chop and change people as we want. As many times as we want. Oh, he's a good navy man. He's devout. What does that mean? Plus two to zeal. We've got a bit of sunrest. This is... Uh, let's see if there's anyone down here who's pretty good. Uh... He might be quite good. Um, oh, but then again, it's... Oh, no, he might be quite good. But minus one happiness, lower classes. I think I'll try and avoid that if I can. I would like a justice minister who's actually good at his job, though, because that does mean more oppression. Uh, but who is our guy? Louis Philippe Hu. It's not... He's not built for this kind of work, so he does need replacing. I'll put him in. Plus one to repression. Oh, we've got a family tree here. Not that that really plays a big role in this. I think it was planned to when they developed the game, but they ran out of steam. I guess money ran out. And so we don't have... Well, I think because, you know, they were going to have like succession wars in this game, which would have been sick. And if they ever made Empire 2, oh my days, that needs to be in it. Um, because I think from memory... Fort Maubeige, for example, and, um, uh, where's that general I was, uh, Villiers, yeah, Claude de Villar, he's an actual general, that's not his portrait, I don't think, I can't remember, but, um, he's an actual general from the Frank War of the Spanish Succession, which I think we've technically just finished, I think Marlborough is here somewhere, General John Churchill, who fought in the Low Countries here an awful lot against them alongside Eugene Savoy, who we fought against as the Ottomans, actually. And so if we did, for example, like I'd say, take Spain, like I thought about, and these, it would be, I mean, it, the Sun King tried to acquire them legitimately through his claim. But what we can kind of do is just do it by force and take the Spanish regions for ourselves. Taking Turin is also probably a good idea. Uh, they're unfriendly in trading. But yeah, let's not, let's not jump into anything too aggressively just yet. Let's uh, let's do some research. I think yeah, first things first, plug bayonet. I think you need bayonets. That's always, always, always a good thing to have. I think we better build up the home province everywhere that we can. I think we're hundred. Okay, no, we're not hundred percent Catholic. Okay, I'll get this for now. Keeps us happy. I don't really care about the uh, conversion, but... Oh, do I want this boardy house? Why not? We can convert. Can we? Oh, no, you can't convert in this game. That's the blooming tragedy of it. You can in Napoleon. But, yeah, you can't... Oh, it's so annoying, that. Okay. Well, let's keep building. We can fine-tune everything later. It's not a big deal. Right, Strasbourg is quite wealthy. It's a shame that it's a military region. What's the advantage to that? Ooh, hello. Royal Suedois. These musket arm troops. This regiment was raised on August 1st, 1690 from five Swedish prisoners. Yeah. Swedish. That makes sense. So you can get... How many can I get? Does it say? Three. Are they good compared to normal line infantry? Can I tell? Oh, wow. Got all these historical regiments here. Wow, well, we didn't have all these options when we were in... The Ottomans. Yeah. Interesting. I think they're just historical kind of regiments rather than um, anything particularly special with a few... I don't know. Um. Men 262. Is that right? 
Pretty sure I want large unit size. Let me just check. Um. Let me just check, guys. I will be right back, but I'm just going to check the unit sizes. I'm just going to... I want to have large unit sizes, obviously, so... Let me just take a little look. Hi, everyone. Yes, sorry about that. Uh, I did check, and I had it on large, not ultra. I had to adjust the graphic settings, so I forgot to do that before this campaign started. So I started again, but obviously there was nothing to do. Good thing we spotted it then. Uh, so I've just done the same buildings, and that's it. So we're just jumping right back into it. So where were we? It's looking out whether or not I wanted to do any real building and stuff. Yeah, I find the Royal Observatory by far the best route on these things. So I'm going to get that. Um, Imperial Palace. Yes, please. Um, what else? It's a shame you can't convert these. Um, but... Offer a lot. I can't tell what ones are native to Alsace, so I can't tell if you know it's a good idea. It, pro it probably is a good idea. It probably is a good idea to keep it military rather than relying solely on just France to do all our recruiting. So, yeah, it, it makes sense. I'm going to get rid of things like these um, pikemen. I'm going to put a unit of militia in that port because ports are quite susceptible to raiding. Not that war with anyone just yet, but, you know, war can come any moment. I've got a fort there, which I'm not bothered about. Put that line of tree unit in the army. Uh, no more. I think I'll put one militia in that Brest shipyard. Either militia or the cheapest unit I have. Which is actually a cannon. But that doesn't feel right. I'll do militia. And what else shall we do? Let's have a look. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot to... Yeah, plug. Yeah, we were doing that. Right, diplomacy. Britain do not like us. Who does like us? It's filtered by that. Friendly 13 colonies? Yeah, why not? I'll trade on them. Let's see if we can get... Okay, no tech. How about we demand £5,000? Um, no. Their office not... They demand military access indefinite, and they'll... Yeah, I can have that. I don't care. They're clearly not going to come here. So, um, so Ottoman Empire? Yeah. Oh, are they popular with the world? They're not very popular. That might be a risk. Spain? We are trading already, and we're very friendly. That's good. Prussia's Protestant and unfriendly. Let's try with uh, Leopold here. All right. Calm down. Technology. Well, I don't really want to give you tech. All right, fine. Well, your loss, not mine. Do you know, uh, I'm trying to stick to uh, similarly. Um, similar religion ones that we have affinity with. Ah, people, come on. What's wrong with my trade? Just look at this guy. Jeez. Oh. Hard to believe he gave up a mod modelling career to become a ruler. All right, trade agreement. Yep, lovely. We've got a trade agreement with them. I should be trying to get some money for it, but I never... I can't be bothered with all the bargaining. Vandenberg, let's try... All right, fine. And uh, Westphalia, would you like anything? No. I'm not hurt, I'm just disappointed. Okay, we don't own Corsica at this point, it seems. That's... Genoan. Yeah, let's definitely build up our colonies here. I think we absolutely want to have a militia unit in there. Absolutely. Keep that port safe. Let's build up our infrastructure here. Let's build... Well, was that a good idea? Yeah, that's a free... Free mine. Free benefit. As in, like, there's no downside to public order for doing that, so... Yeah, let's get these buildings. Oh, yeah. Cool. Let's do that. I, was, I thought that might be a, port, a fort slot, but there isn't a fort slot here. So I have selected the option to not have forts, but I don't think Darth Maud actually picks up on that. But I don't like forts. I hate them with a fiery, loathsome passion in this game. I hate them, hate them, hate them, hate them. But not much we can do. Right, Louisiana. 
We can't do much about you at the moment. You just exist. Martinique. Let's get you some militia as well. Some colonial militia to keep an eye on Barbados. And get a large sugar plantation. Yeah. Oh, French Guyana. Of course, we have French Guyana. Let's go. Oh, gold. This is why this is why it's so worth standing in the new world. The resources. But yeah, uh, talking of infrastructure, let's get your infrastructure built. Let's get some uh, large spice plantation going. Oh, and let's get a militia unit here. Yeah, that's nice and cheap. Good. Now, it might be... A, we're not at war with anybody, apart from the Barbary States, as far as I can see. Yep, yeah, and the pirates, of course. So, no musterings and manoeuvrings to do just yet. Oh, we have a militia unit already. I'm going to send that... I'll cancel that recruitment then. I'll use that yeah. unit. These guys. Uh, yeah, they're very expensive for something I don't ever use, so I'm not going to keep them. Yeah, what will be nice... Once we've got some, some military tech, we'll inevitably be at war with someone. And what will be good is taking... Oh, yeah, look, we own... Yeah, I've, I've never played as a French before, so I, I, I haven't got a mental note of what we have. I've actually spent all my money. Just look at the money you can make from some of these buildings. Right, let's get a militia unit there too, because that's quite a valuable port. Wait, excellent. Just about spent all our money in good health. Votre Majesty, all right, Philippe de Vaudreuil. He is uh, a man on the ground here. He'll be commanding mostly local uh, auxiliaries, it seems. We've got a port here that we can play with, but I don't think we'd stand up to the pirates right now. Do we have a dry dock in this area? I doubt we do. Uh, no, I'm only seeing dry docks. Um, yeah, cool. We're doing quite a bit of upgrading. Okay, what should we do with you? What should we do with you? Oh, okay. You can have everything in here, definitely. I don't really care about garrisoning Paris. Um, and we should definitely have our best commander uh, have all the uh, men. So let's send these guys south. We can camp in Paris for a while. Go in there. And there we go. We have something of an army in Paris. Good stuff. Oh, yes, growth. We need to encourage growth across the region. Two turns until Bordeaux develops. If we stop taxing ourselves, it'll be next turn. So, no point doing that. We want money. <laughs> we like money. We like money. Um, oh, bug him. Oh, look, I forgot, I've started the campaign on the wrong... It didn't remember my victory conditions. All right, bear with me, guys. I'm going to have to do this one more time and start again. I'll edit this all out and... Uh, oh, God. Right. Bear with. Right. Sorry about that, guys. I think I've got that more or less under control now. I've more or less spent the money how we spent it last time. Uh, there might be the odd building that I didn't... Do. The money's all gone, so that's a good sign. I've got militia going to all these um, ports and everything. Any luck? Let me just check that. We've got one here. I think I recruited one. Oh, no, I haven't got one being recruited there. Okay, we'll have to do that next time. But I've done all the diplomacy again as well. I've uh, got the same deals, although I did negotiate the military access with the Hursting Colonies down to just them having it for 10 turns. So I'm happy with that. That's fine with me. Uh, Navy, you can... What should we do with you? Uh, oh, we're making more money than last time. How's that happened? How has that happened? Seriously. I've no idea how we're making more money. But, okay. I will not complain. I'll put you in there for now. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's too much more to do this turn. But I've done quite a lot. Uh, we're second in prestige to Spain, uh, Britain. Uh, let's start taxing... The higher class is more, but there's less town wealth. Per turn. So I think, oh, I've completely neglected um, the Indias today. 
should probably do that next turn. Next turn. Oh, Prince clamping down on Pyrus here. Uh, they want an alliance. And they want Newfoundland. Okay, I've just noticed all this, but they want Silesia. They're offering Silesia and military access for five turns. <laughs> they want Newfoundland. They're desperate to get an overseas colony. Uh, no. Absolutely not. Uh, uh, we're at war with the United Provinces. Okay. Let's call our allies to war. Yes, what a gamble. Right, they're attacking our uh, overseas colony there. Oh, you're in trouble now. Alright, they want an alliance and all this stupid stuff. They want a presence south of Canada and they want nah, they want physiocracy as well. It's just not happening, I'm afraid. Poland. Alright, what do you want? Military ally. Ooh. Yeah, okay. I'll take that. Free alliance with some bonuses thrown in. Got yourself a deal. Uh, no. Not just yet. I'm not going to ally with the Mughal Empire. Right, enemy raid on these plantations. That's a militia unit. We've just recruited a unit of... Oh no, I didn't get around to it. Yeah, the one region I didn't recruit in. It's the one that gets attacked, figures. Uh, well, they might be all right. Okay, we'll put some farms up. That's as high as it goes this turn. Yeah, we've got some militias. Yep, they've attacked our port. That's fine. That's exactly what we want. Oh, we can't actually reach the island. How oh, annoying that is, indeed. Well, there's no point upgrading this, then, if we can't sell what we're making here. Fine. Okay. It's just, it is what it is for now. Oof. Our economy's really been hurt by this war. A bad kid. You made me use 10% of my power. France, we've got a militia unit. Good, because I'm going to send you to this point. Okay, yeah, the Netherlands are just there. They're quite undefended, so we could try... Do we have a military access pact with uh, old Spain? Too right, we do. Unlucky unlucky United Provinces, but you're in trouble. Okay. And we'll have some time for some cheap recruitment along the way. So, what do we need? I'm just going to get infantry, because that's what we can throw in this turn. We've got cannons aplenty already. Did I just say a plenty? Jeez. What a word. Let's get some of these guys. These look quite interesting. I trust that I'll keep his about the same broadly. I don't know if they're actually all that much better than normal line infantry. Oh, I'll get what I can afford. I guess some. Why not? Variety is the spice of life, isn't it? There we go. Four units of infantry. Should help. Oh, line of infantry in here as well. Yeah. Now, taking United Provinces won't be a simple case of us just waltzing in there, hopefully taking it and winning. They are usually quite a pain to keep subjugated. Uh, villages are not growing here. That's not good. It's going to take, even with exempt tax, it's going to take another 59 turns. So I think here we'll want to build a fish port when we have the money. I'd like to have done some building again in India, but at the same time, there isn't an awful lot here. We could get some rice paddies, yeah, why not? I don't think there's even a port in this region. It's so rubbish. We do have a military building that can recruit sepoys. That's quite good. Cool. We'll make the Dutch regret this war. So even if we lose French Guyana, if we win the war against the United Provinces, they'll lose it, technically, because they will be dead. So, let's send Claude de Villar to subjugate these guys. It might take two turns to get there with our reinforcements, but that's fine. 
I think we're being blockaded. Yep, we're being blockaded here. How good is that one? We've got quite a good navy compared to theirs. We have an extra ship. We might have a chance of uh, capturing a ship or two if we're really good. Sloops and brigs. No. Sixth rate. We have two sixth rates of brig and a sloop. And so we basically have an extra sixth rate from what I see. That's a fifth rate to our fifth rate. Yeah. And I'm not saying I could win that at all, but it would be fun. Why not? Why not? This is exactly part of why I wanted to play this game. I wanted to do some naval battles unlike in the last campaign. So let's get going. Let's go. Yeah, we have good cannon uh, firepower. Three star up there, three star. Francois Louis de Rousselet. Oh, let's go. Why not? Let's do this. Because if we win this, we can go and sail into their port at Antwerp, Antwerp, I imagine. If we take that, then they'll be cut off from all their overseas trade. Right. I truly, truly, truly have no strategy when it comes to these battles, so we're going to... Uh, I'm going to put the faster ships sort of at the front like this. I'm going to look at this, the uh, unit models quickly. Colour schemes, we've got red stripe and white stripe. Suede du son, du son, rayeux, le générateur, son esprit, Sirius. Very nice. Very nice models. Can't quite beat the British scheme of orange, of black and tan, but um, I do like this. Why it's quite smart, quite um, Nilf Guardian if you've ever played uh, the Witcher games. All right, I'm gonna see what happens if we wait a moment. I'm gonna okay, let's lose a little bit of sail, not too much. I want us to stay in a line. I should talk about ship grouping. Yeah, they shouldn't stay all too far ahead of each other because I'd like to have all my guns take them out one by one, especially if they send their sixth rate up first. We can try taking out one of their biggest ones nice and early. I think they've got the Admiral at the back. So we take out the small ones first, which are sailing way ahead. Brilliant. We take these out, and then we deal with the Admiral. But luckily, we might capture a ship, which we'd use for either prize money or take it for ourselves. And I've got to be honest, I think I'd quite like to take it. But let's not assume we've got a ship yet. Let's sort of try and win this battle. Yeah, not much to do here, early stages. It looks like we've split up a bit, so let's have you guys... Are you still sailing? Yeah, you guys keep sailing. You guys go a little faster. Right, you guys keep going now. Yeah, I don't mind that they're all grouped together a little more now, that's fine. And everyone just, yeah, keep sort of... No, 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 guys. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing to me? There we go. Okay, turns out a group probably isn't the best way to do this. We'll just go on like this. Now we've got the sixth rate supported by the sloop and the brig. Now these two are fast ships. I might have these guys raise their sails a bit to come on a little faster. Ooh, look who got the first shots off the battle off. These guys. Let's use their speed to their advantage. Let's go. We're not sending tip right to the wind. And I don't want to go this way now because we'd go into their cannons, but I think we've got enough wind this way. Wow, they got good range. Ouch. Oh, we're going to have to turn around a bit. This is not the how I want it, but that's all right. Okay, I've taken out one of their cannons. We've fired a volley onto their sloop. That's good. Yeah, let's turn around. Place them head on a little bit. Oh, if their six mate wants to target my sloop for a while, so, oh, no, nope, they're gone for these guys as well. No, 
Right, let's just let the battle develop a little bit. What I should do now. Swiddy Swan having a bit of trouble with the Xanfor. Ouch. Sloop just took a hit there. This guy can't do any more firing on us. We can try and bring more guns to bear on this sloop now compared to what they can bring on us. Abash. worth of cannons on them for a while. Okay, that's weakened them up a bit. Yeah, this one's winning a little slightly. That's is what it is. Oh, I suck at these naval battles. I really do. Completely lost my footing. I can't these guys to speed up. Let's have a seven to the wind now. I need one way to catch up now. Into the wind. Yeah, because this guy's now got three ships against one. Hmm, I want to go this way, actually. It looks like they're trying to circle around us. Except this once. The ship's not going to survive. It's going to be horrifically bombarded, no. But let's get this one around. You up as well. Bring you up. You can try and take out this. Uh, Taking out one of their masts, obviously. There we go. Let's turn around a little bit. Turn around, please. Alright, let's get the big guns up as well. Alright, keep firing on this sloop, see if we can take it out of the battle. Got this guy firing onto them. I'm trying to finish this ship off, but it's proving difficult. It's still got all its health, which is annoying. Right, let's bring you around a bit. Let's have you start firing on these ships. And you guys keep coming up and then we'll turn you around when this guy's in range. Keep trying to take out this sloop. Wow, this is a tough little thing. I mean, I say I'm taking out his mask, fair enough. It's not incredible, but it's a little stubborn. Give it that. Flagship taking a beat from the sloop there. Three men down already. All right, it starts to you around. I'm trying to take out this sloop, but it's uh, hanging on. Right, let's have you swing around, let's have you swing around. You sail up. Wow, this is a craze. Struggling a bit. Right, where's the other one? You're coming up too. Excellent. Oh, who's that? Oh no, we're right there in range already. That's quite a distance. Yeah, 
that's it. This brings some real heavy firepower. Oh man, taking them quite a lot of hull damage though already. They haven't really taken any. But we've just we've been quite unlucky on the hits department, it seems. None of their hulls are damaged at all. Only their masts. That's just bad luck, what can you do? It happens. Got to accept it. That sloop is untouched. That uh, brick even. Eesh. Not good. But we're doing quite a bit of damage on the sixth rate, which is nice. Can't <laughs> get this blooming sloop to go down. Much, uh, quite a bit of health. Right, you keep sailing. This is not doing well. It's losing at the moment, apparently. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Wow, Darth Water really makes these battles a lot slower, doesn't it? I'm not sure I like it. It's, uh... Oh, no, he's fleeing! It's a shame. Oh, well. Let's have this move up and try and take a few hits for the uh, Admiral. Yeah, I, I don't think we've got a single hit in this thing. Look. Green, green, full white. I don't think we've landed a single hit. Look, it's completely untouched. Just supreme bad luck. As always, from the Duke. The worst luck of YouTube. Right. Let's go. This one's starting to get a bit battered. Sloop's starting to get a little bit wobbly. He's only got three guns left on that side, I think. Maybe... Brig take a few hits for us is quite good. Let's slow down, let that brig overtake. Got canister on, one day closing. Oh, yeah, we've got this ship as well. Come on, yeah. Ah, bash! Oh, and they started turning on us at that moment as well. Fantastic, that's hurt them a bit. Yeah, let's reduce their numbers from 95 to 68. Oh, they were so close, look how close they were. They were about to start boarding and then they fled. Bad timing, bad timing. This ship's really taken a lot of damage from that sick rate. But you can't fix it in this game. Not like in Napoleon. There we go. Actually got some hits on there now. On that there. That bear ship. <laughs> They've stopped their colours. This sloop's not too scary, really. It's quite battered. Right. They said they've got all their guns into one place now. That was quite clever. Yeah, 
that's good. Let's try and cross their T because I don't think that Admiral can see us from here. So let's keep going forward. Same for you. No, they can't see us from that angle. No way. That's good. Look at the accuracy. Look, we're all over the place and they're like bang, 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 bang. Yeah, this is just a supreme bad luck, I think, on our part today. We haven't got a hit. They'll only most of theirs. I couldn't, as soon as we got this uh, sloop here to about half morale and orange here, we just couldn't do any more damage to her, unfortunately. I could never make it flee. So I think if we can make it flee, that will make the odds bar more tempting. They might start running a bit more. Let's put everything into this sloop. There we go. Right, you keep sailing. Keep hovering at this angle here. Cannons, a few men down. Wonderful shooting from the Dutch today. I just look, oh, look how many guns we put into this loop. No damage in the last like 10 minutes. Oh, we're just so inaccurate today. It's just not our, our numbers, not up today. No, look at the accuracy. That was a clean sweep on our ship again, and we didn't get a single. Dear, dear, dear. French ships are uh, wanting so far. They look awesome. Fight terribly. Well, if we've struggled with a sleep, I don't think we have much chance against a flagship, but let's see what we can put into it. Yeah, no damage yet on that ship since the early stage of the battle. It's just, yeah, it's very difficult to get hits, I find. The AI's figured it out, but I'm still wondering how one does it. Start sailing into the wind, everyone. that range. Yeah. Might be time to withdraw, you know. I think it's time to withdraw. Just going to give them a bunch of ships otherwise. They can have that one. Uh, it's annoying, but they've they've earned it, certainly. We can't win this. It was just, we need to reset the luck <laughs> so that we can actually get some hits. Let's have them all flee a little faster. Yeah, the RNG was not in our favour today. Just couldn't land any shot, uh, land any shots on their deck. Looks like they're trying to chase us, but I think we'll be fine. We're quite near the edge of the map, so that's kind of why I did it. Let's go. Can't see the edge, but it must be about here. No, oh, there it is. See that? No, it's just you. Okay, that was fun, but hard. <laughs> My goodness. I don't seem to be doing many more of those. Naval battles are a bit too difficult for me. But I'll, I'll keep trying. I will keep trying to do them. But don't expect any uh, victories. That's hard. Jeez, it's harder than base game naval battles. Yeah, they caught a ship. 
Swines took that ship of us. Uh, whoa, where are you going? What are you doing? I only want you to go there. Why have you gone over there, you bugs? Weird decision. Okay. Uh, I don't think there's too much else to do this turn. So let's end the turn. Really? Cool. Let's do it. All right, Sweden didn't join us. That's fine, but Spain did. <laughs> Navy's pulled back. All right, Spain have joined us in the war against Britain, so they might be off to do some raiding on the uh, British coast. Oh, the Ottomans are sending a navy out. Done more than I did in this stage of the campaign. Uh, oh, oh, they're offering a lot of money for it. Yeah, fine. I'll accept your apology. Go on in. They all come crawling back to France, don't they? Right. I think the 13 colonies might have joined Britain. Denmark. Swedes are the superior sailors. Ah, the Barbie States. The bane of everyone's life. Oof, pirates captured a ship. Double the strength. Three ships! Oh, goodness me. All right, France, Sweden are no longer allied. Prussia and Poland are no longer allied. Austria and Great Britain are no longer allied. Austria and Poland is no longer allied. Oof. All right, Bordeaux has grown. Good. Let's get a uh, craft workshop in there. Let's get you in there. Let's get the Navy back. Start repairing them. Okay, let's get the new units. Wait, can we... We actually reach Paris. We might attack this and see what reinforces to see if we can take out their army um, from a distance. And then move, you know, these guys can just come up as reinforcements. Captain Kidd is dead as he sailed, as he sailed. All right, a bit all our rows and stuff. Excellent. If we had a bit more peace, I'd upgrade all of them. But as it is, I'll do that right now. Right, we can't actually march on Amsterdam because I think this army's in the way. So let's march up. Oui, Milord. See what happens. Allez, pour la right, there's an army there. Okay, we can actually have a good chance of just taking out a single unit on its own. There's an army there, which I'm not scared of at all. We'll be right here. Let's go. So I'm just going to mop up this unit. It's a free unit to take out. One that won't then have a later one. Right. We don't have an awful... Oh, yeah. I was going to say we don't have an awful inventory, but we're only fighting one unit, so... Uh, we haven't invented canister shot yet. So... But what it might mean, though, is that we can bombard them from afar and let them come on to us. Now these battles in the early game will be very clumsy. There'll be no fire by rank, there'll be no bayonets, there'll be no squares, there'll be no canister. It's just, we're so terrible at this style of warfare at the moment. All of Europe is all so new to us. So if we had some canister, this would be an extremely devastating setup here. So 
because I find a lot of the time in this game it's worth to just charge into melee. Projected uh, gunfights are very dangerous. Okay, looks like we'll be the first to get a volley. That's good. Oh, they're thinking about running. They're thinking about running. Let's get the cavalry in place. Well, one more canister volley, I think, might break them. Stop firing. You two pop up. Yep, continue. I want to destroy this unit completely. Nice. I think even eight, I, mean, I can't be bothered now. Uh, 18 small enough, I don't care if that turns up on another battle. Now we want to take out that other army outside the city, because if we attack the city with that army to reinforce, we're fighting a big army. Perfect, we can reach them. Yes, I'm happy to try, especially because they've got militia and pikemen and we've got good units. Uh, we'll have to do that in the next episode though, guys, because I'm conscious of the length of this episode. Um, but... Hope you enjoyed it. The yeah, war has already come, uh, but we've guarded our port, so Britain can't land an army too quickly. And we're about to march on Amsterdam, which is uh, hopefully, you know, if we can take this army out, maybe even completely destroy it, then these reinforcements that come up can then help us take Amsterdam itself. And then that will be a really wealthy town under our control, and we'll have knocked out all the overseas territories of theirs as well, and their navies. And, you know, rather than them taking this, we can march up and take Dutch Guyana and maybe Curaçao and everything like that. So, um, yeah, is there anything small I can just do before we turn? Just in case I forget to do them in the next episode. <laughs> yeah, let's get some fur traders. I'm sure, Newport much somewhere. Yep, yeah, there. Fishery. Let's build up India a little bit. Yeah, cross workshop. Yeah, that sounds nice. And yeah, oh, colonial light cavalry. That would be quite good. But I'm not going to do it yet because I don't really have a plan. Oh, mind you, I mean Bengal's right there, and we are at war now. But I have a funny feeling it's going to be the other way. I think they're going to attack us before we attack them. I don't even have an army here. So on that basis, actually, I might not even build here. That's probably a bad idea. We could build a Jesuit college. How exciting. Or I could build a new ship. Could we get a fifth rate? Yeah, let's do that. Because being able to hit Britain's trade will really upset them. And if we take Amsterdam out, we will be quite safe on this side of the map. Not that they were really at risk of attacking us, you know, storming through Brussels and taking us out. But it's more... We won't have, you know, like a navy that can land, launch armies here or harass us. Or, you know, we don't, we don't have to keep an army tied down in Paris to stop them coming through. And so, I guess the long game we could have played is let Amsterdam try and take Brussels, but... And then take that off them in the march up. But that's just too protracted. I think would I think a nice quick war will be good. Take them out nice and early. And then we'll have to turn our attention towards Britain. Uh, Spain like us at the moment, which is good. So we can get everything under control with um Oh there it is. Uh Michigan so we've got to take Michigan, Algonquin. Uh 
Michigan, Algonquin, and Cherokee. That one. So we've got to take out a few regions, and then Louisiana will join our reward, our nation. They live here. But that's not going to be uh, that's not going to be easy because we're quite separated from that. We'd probably have to fight our way through the Iroquois and then go down. And that's not going to happen for a while. So, especially if we've got Moose Factory here, I think it'd be nice to try and take that out because they won't be able to get many units here compared to us. Anyway, uh, blah, 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 blah. That's for the next episode. So um, join me next time, guys. We'll continue the war against the United Provinces and try and focus out how we're going to take the war to Britain and start establishing something of an empire. So don't miss it, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.